Hey guys, it's Adrian Boysell and I'm back again for yet another video. Thanks for tuning in. You're gonna to wanna to hang with me on this one. I'm going to challenge the way that you think about your career as a freelancer, as a business owner, as a graphic designer in ways that you never thought possible. And I wouldn't be a very good mentor if I didn't challenge your thinking. So this video is gonna be challenging your thinking, but it's also hopefully gonna give you a huge breakthrough and be super impactful for you. But first, story time. So many of you guys probably don't know this, but from 2007 until 2011, I built my reputation and my skills as a graphic designer in my hometown of Sacramento, California, as one of the top graphic designers in the entire area. And I worked really, really hard. And to do that, I did over 5,000 designs. Yes, 5,000 designs I did during that time. And I took a lot of pride in being that graphic designer and building that reputation as the best graphic designer in town. So fast forward to 2011, and I really had a passion to take my business to the next level. I had built a great brand. I had done thousands and thousands of designs. I had over 3,000 clients. Things were growing exceptionally well, and I was in this hungry growth mentality, a little bit too hungry, to be honest with you. And so what I decided to do was partner with a company and actually sell my business to his business and take on a business partner. The worst part about that whole experience and something I didn't expect is he told me that I was no longer allowed to do graphic design. And oh man, that was hard for me. That was more than hard for me. It was so impactful to me that he told me that I couldn't be a designer, that I took it personally. I let my ego get in the way. I let my pride get in the way. I was an artist. It's what I built my reputation on. And this isn't the business that I built. This is not why this business became successful. The business that he bought into became successful because of my graphic design abilities, right? That's what I believe. That's what I built my entire identity around coming from jail and building a super successful business. I had a lot wrapped into this business. I had a lot of pride, a lot of, I mean, I had a huge team. So there was a lot that went into that for me. So I really took it personally and it was something that held me back and it really fractured the relationship in a very deep way. I'm extremely passionate as an artist and as a designer and losing that identity was such a big deal that I just had a hard time gripping onto that and accepting that new reality that I was just gonna have to be a sales guy. At the end of the day though, the truth was, is being a graphic designer is not what was gonna help the business the most. So I was wrong, but the truth is too, he was also wrong. And today's video is gonna be about that. I'm gonna come back to this story here in just a minute and we'll finish that part out. But I wanna share why he was wrong and why I was wrong and what you can do in your business to not have the same thing happen to you. So I have a question for you. Have you ever considered that you could be more than a graphic designer? Being a graphic designer is great, but can you be more? It's a pretty simple question. But the truth is a lot of people don't even realize that they can be more than just a graphic designer. So what I wanna know from you today, if you can drop this down in the comments, is what is the number one goal for you in your career? Is it fame? Do you wanna be a world-renowned graphic designer that everybody knows and design money or currency or do something crazy? Is it money? Do you want to just make a ridiculous amount of money as a graphic designer and, and just have a, a ton of wealth built from it? Or maybe it's just fulfillment. Maybe you just love doing art. Graphic design is your passion. It's something that you're crazy about and you can never see yourself doing anything else. That's how I was. That was the place that I was just happy to be doing what I loved for a living and getting paid on it. And I got paid pretty terribly back in the day. And so what I wanna encourage you guys in this video is to drop a comment, introduce yourself, but also tell me what is your number one goal? Fame, money, fulfillment, what is it that's most important? What is it you wanna get out of your career? So there are three tips that I'm gonna share with you right now that I feel are gonna be super impactful to help you achieve the most success possible. The first tip is you gotta stay creative. You gotta stay inspired. As an artist, as a creative, we have to let these things out. We take all this information out on a daily basis. We see 18, 20, 50, 100,000 things per day that come into our brain. We get inspired even when we don't realize it. And we have all this information that we're processing, that we're learning, that we're taking in from clients and all the things that we're researching and doing on social media. It's important for creatives like us to get that out of our head and to share that creativity because it becomes trapped and we start to feel burnt out and we start to feel like we're just not being able to express who we are. Being a designer and being an artist is actually sharing your ideas, sharing your thoughts and expressing those things. It's a way that we, like we talk, like I'm talking in this video, being an artist is the same thing, it's that same expression. And so for me, it was really hard to let go of that and not have that same level of expression and creativity that I was having on a daily basis when I stepped away from being a graphic designer. The second tip I wanna give you is you have to do more than just be a graphic designer nowadays if you wanna make great money. You really need to stop and think about where you can have the greatest impact in your business. 
And most of the times, for most case scenarios and most situations, it's the sales side, it's the revenue generation. Bringing in more money, money into your business is absolutely critical. You being the designer, when you can actually go hire somebody for 15, 20, 25 bucks an hour, is not the greatest impact of your business. So this is something that a lot of designers get stuck in. It's something that I got stuck in, something you really need to take into consideration. Another piece to that, and this is part of your ego, is you gotta remember that you are a business and your objective and your goal is to serve others. And if you're so focused on being that designer that you're not giving them the absolute best quality, there are designers out there that are better than you. You need to accept that. There are designers out there, you're probably, some of you guys that are watching this video are better designers than I am. Brian, who's sitting over here, is a better designer than I am in many ways. He's a better artist, but it doesn't take away from my skill and my talent. The clients that I serve, I can give them the absolute best outcome by hiring somebody that's even more talented than I am in design. And that's why my business has elevated to the level that it has is I found people that are even more skilled in graphic design than I am. So it's not just about you, but it's about your client and even your team. The third tip, and this is just a universal truth that I want you to just take and I want you to soak this in, I want you to sit in this and I really want you to feel this. You will always be an artist. You will always be a designer. That is who you are. That is what God created you to be. And so I really want you to accept that. I want you to feel that. I want you to know that there is no amount of design projects or less design projects or more design projects or awards that can take that away from you. Nothing is gonna take that away from you. We are our own worst enemy. And if you get in your head about not doing every single design project, you're really only gonna hurt yourself. And truthfully, you'll actually hurt your clients too and maybe even your team. So you gotta get over that. It's really important that as an artist you start to remember and start to think about this on a regular basis and realize that at the end of the day if you are the business owner you get to pick and choose the projects that you work on if I had to do every single design that was still coming into my business today I'd be miserable because there's so many coming in there's no way I could keep up but I have other people on my team now that are doing those and when I see a project that I know that I can do like next gen septics that is when I jump on and I actually do the project myself because it's a passion project. It's something that I really have a whole lot of heart and interest in and passion for. So you can pick and choose those projects and that's what I wanted to share with you is you're always gonna be an artist and now you just get to pick and choose the projects that you wanna work on. It's really simple. So if you're finding this content helpful, it would really mean a lot to me if you could smash that like button, smash the freaking subscribe button so you get notified of all of our videos. This is a lot of work for us. We put a lot of time in this because we really wanna see breakthrough. And as they say, rising tides raise all ships. So I'm super grateful to have you here for this. So the last thing that I wanna share with you, if you wanna reach the greatest potential in not just your design career, but just your career overall, you really need to let go of your ego. I mean, your egg, no wait your ego, you're not a waffle, you need to let go of your ego and focus on becoming a business owner and sharpening your ax in the other areas of your business. Being the graphic designer is the fulfillment part of your business. You need to lock down your operations, you need to lock down your sales, you need to lock down your marketing, you have to lock down these other areas of your business and master them, develop systems and processes for each one of these areas, and then you can have a lot more freedom and you can have a lot more fun and you'll get to work on the projects that you only wanna work on. So let go of that ego, let go of that pride, and you'll have a lot more success, you'll have a lot more abundance, and you'll have a team around you. And that's one of the best parts of being a graphic designer is having a team of other creatives around me every single day. So that's what I wanted to leave with you. You can be so much more than just a graphic designer and you should be more than just a graphic designer. Graphic design, people don't make a ton of money. If you just do only design the rest of your career, you're probably gonna struggle financially, and I don't wanna see that for any of you guys. So that's my video for you guys today, and make sure I wanna invite you to the Instagraphics Pro Network. It's a link down at the bottom. That's a personal invite from me to you. I would love to have you in our community. It's growing fast. We have events coming up. We have all kinds of cool stuff going on as a community, and I would love to have you a part of that. Make sure you fill out all the questions or we won't let you in. Every question has to be answered, and I look forward to seeing you guys on the next video. I'm Adrian Boysell, and as always, keep looking up.